Lung overexpansion injuries can happen when you hold your breath and go up. As the pressure goes down, your lungs will expand in a similar way to the balloon we talked about in physics. Your alveoli are much, much more delicate than the rubber of a balloon and they are damaged easily. In shallow water, pressure differences are greatest. Between 0 and 10 meters, the pressure goes from 1 to 2 bar, so it becomes twice as high. But between 10 and 20 meters, the pressure goes only from 2 to 3 bar. It only becomes 1.5 times as high. This means that in shallow water, the risk of overexpansions is higher. Going up from a depth of 2 meters holding your breath with full lungs can cause serious problems. This is very important to remember for all divers, of course, but it is especially important for instructors who are responsible for student divers. Just because you are close to the surface, it doesn't mean that everyone is safe. You can treat decompression injuries and lung overexpansion injuries the same way. Monitor heartbeat and breathing, supply 100% oxygen and alert EMS. So, because you don't need to differentiate between the conditions of lung overexpansion or decompression sickness, we have one umbrella term for both of them. We call them together decompression illness. There are four types of lung overexpansion injuries. Arterial gas embolism, or AGE for short, pneumothorax, mediastinal emphysema, and subcutaneous emphysema. The most serious is an arterial gas embolism. An embolism is something that causes a blockage in your blood vessels. In this case, it is an air bubble that causes a blockage in your arteries. Expanding air is forced through the alveoli into the blood vessels that go back to the heart via the pulmonary vein. The heart then pumps bubbles to the arteries and to the rest of your body. There is a good chance that the air bubbles will travel to your brain. This has serious consequences and can lead to immediate unconsciousness. Unlike decompression sickness, you will see the symptoms of age immediately after a dive, sometimes even before the diver surfaces. A pneumothorax is a collapsed lung. Expanding air forces its way between the lung and the chest wall, compressing the lung and causing it to collapse. This is not as dangerous as age, because it's unlikely to happen in both lungs, meaning that the victim still has one working lung. The victim will suffer from severe chest pain and have difficulty breathing, and they usually cough up blood. Some people have a condition where they suffer from a spontaneous pneumothorax. These people can never go diving. Smoking can harm the protective layer that prevents the sides of the lungs from sticking together, and this can make pneumothorax more likely. Try to position the victim on the side of the collapsed lung. It will be painful, but it will enable the good lung to be used optimally. Mediastinal emphysema usually comes together with age or a pneumothorax. It is when air leaking from a tear in the lung tissue goes to the centre of the chest. This can restrict the heart and it can also cause pneumothorax. The diver will have severe chest pain and often difficulty breathing and voice distortion. 
Subcutaneous emphysema is when air leaking from the lung builds up under the skin, usually in the neck and chest. You will be able to see swelling in the neck, and the victim may also have chest pain, neck pain, and difficulty breathing.